Hi everyone, it's Terry here from NutsAboutStamping.com. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a really cool technique. It's called the watercolor wash technique. And I am going to create a friendship card, uh, or it could be a birthday card, I guess, using the Tasteful Touches stamp set. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the phrase that says, just saying hello. I have a piece of scrap whisper white cardstock and I'm going to use my gorgeous grape ink pad to ink up the phrase and stamp it down. Okay. Now, having my uh, gorgeous grape ink pad ready to go, the next step that I would suggest you do if you decide to make this card at home is to take some of the crinkled seam, seam binding ribbon. Let me try that again. It's the crinkled seam binding ribbon and it's whisper white. And I would use a scrap piece of grid paper. I have one that I always keep handy. You're going to cut a length of ribbon that you want to use for your card. You're going to lay the white seam binding down take one of your sponges, Stampin' Sponges, and you're going to sponge across the top side and the back side of the ribbon so that you create a gorgeous grape matching strip of ribbon. So that's what I would do next. And then I'm going to bring in my die cutting and embossing machine and I have one of the stitched labels framelits. It's this particular framelit here. And I'm going to die cut the phrase from the Whisper White piece of cardstock. So let me bring in my machine. Have it all ready to go. And I'm going to put the die around the phrase. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to roll it forward and then I'm going to roll it backwards because this particular die has a couple of small bits to it and I would hope that my phrase would pop out and it did pretty much, which is good. Sometimes if you roll back and forth a little bit, then it helps pull out all those tiny little bits. So let me move this out of the way so that you can see the phrase up close. Okay, beautiful. The next thing I want to do is do the watercolor wash technique and I'm going to show you how to do that. I have a piece of waxy paper that I'm putting on top of a scrap piece of my grid paper. I always keep my scraps for stamping off and for sort of messing about when I'm crafting at home. And I have a piece of watercolor paper that I have cut as a layer for the front of my card. And I have a couple of other things that I'm going to use to do this watercolor wash technique. I have a package of my Stampin' Spritzers. So I've taken one of the spritzers out of the container and I filled it with water. And then I'm going to bring in my gorgeous grape ink. Open that up and get that ready to go. And then I have a clear block. You can use any size of clear block, doesn't really matter. And I also have a paintbrush. Again, I bought this at my local craft store. You, it, you don't have to get a really high quality paintbrush to do this. Any kind would do. Actually, mine has got a rounded end. I would say if you have one that has more of a squared off end, would probably be better for this technique. I don't have that, so I'm not going to make a big deal about it. All right, so here's what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to ensure that your, you're going to spritz water across the whole layer, the whole watercolor paper layer. It's going to curl up a little bit when it's wet. Don't worry about that. Then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to make sure that it's 
really saturated all over the place. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own little paint palette. If you have the gorgeous grape reinker at home, you could put a little drop of reinker on the waxy paper, or if you have some of those like artists paint palettes, you can get those plastic trays that have the little cups in them. You could put a couple of drops in there. But if you don't have all of that, don't worry about it. You can use a clear block and that picks up the color. So the other thing I have handy is just a little bowl of water. I'm going to wet my paintbrush and then what I'm going to do is uh, rub my paintbrush on the clear block and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to pull the color in one direction across the bottom of my watercolor paper. So I want to start out quite dark at the bottom and then I'm going to pull the color up so that it gets lighter. So this is sort of like a gradation of color and you just keep pulling up the color from the bottom up towards the top and every time you need to start at the bottom again and then go up so that you want it to go from darker to lighter. Now if need be, if your watercolor paper is really absorbent and you want to add more water, you can do that. Have just a little bowl handy. Okay, and again, and really this is your personal preference. You can determine how dark you want it at the bottom and how light you want it at the top. Okay, so just try and go in one direction across so that you get these kind of streaks across your watercolor paper. Okay, I hope that's fairly clear to you. Again, you can go as dark as you want or as light as you want. And then what you want to do is you want to take this watercolor paper layer and you want to set it, si set it aside to dry or you can use your heat tool if you do heat embossing and you have a heat tool handy, you can use that to dry your paper. And if you do use a heat tool, what I find is it, it does is it starts to flatten out when it heats up, when this uh, paper heats up, it flattens out. So you can actually pat it down as you go and make it nice and flat. Okay, I think you get the hang of what I'm doing. I have a piece that I created that I set aside so that you don't have to wait while I go and dry this. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video, I'll clean up this space here and I'll be back and I'll show you how to finish off the card. Back in a moment. Here is the final product with the watercolor wash on it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I used Gorgeous Great, but you can choose your favorite colors and then just coordinate everything on your card. So let's go ahead and finish it off. What I'm going to do is bring in a piece of Whisper White cardstock. That is going to be a layer for the front of my card. And I think instead of using snail adhesive, on my watercolor paper. I'm worried that it might tear a little bit. It probably won't, but just to be safe, what I'm going to use is my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to pop this up on the front of my card. Okay. And I'm going to make my card base gorgeous grape. So let's put the layer of Whisper White on it first. I'm going to use my adhesive. And add this layer of Whisper White to my card base first. And then I'm going to bring in my watercolor wash layer and I'm going to add that to the front of my card 
like so. And then I am going to bring in my phrase. And I remember this, I had my ribbon. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive on the back of my phrase. And then I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and have it lay like so on the front of my card. And then I'm going to bring in my phrase and lay that down like so. And that will hold my ribbon in place. And then the last thing I'm going to do before I complete, or the last thing I'm going to do to complete my card is I have some of the snowflake sequins. I think these are really pretty. And there are snowflake shapes, but there's also circular shapes. And I think that adding some of these sequins to the front of my card will make a beautiful and final touch. So that's what I'll do. And if you would like to see a photo of the final product, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While you're on my blog, I invite you to subscribe to my free newsletters. I send two newsletters a week. In each one, I will show you a project that you won't see anywhere else. I'll also have a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for all of the layers so that if you want to make this card at home, you can click over to my online store. I'll provide the link underneath this video. Then you can head over to my blog and you'll have everything that you need to make this card at home. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I hope you'll try a new technique today too. Perhaps the watercolor wash. Bye for now.